we can pretend, right? <sighs> Hello and welcome to fish to go my movie and TV show review, list, essay, and everything else channel. Who am I? Well, thanks for asking. I'm David Fish and uh, you're taking me on the go. See what I'm doing there? I'm looking to you, that's right, you, to give me recommendations for movies and TV shows I have yet to see, so be sure to leave those in the comments down below. And of course, if you are into this kind of content, be sure you're subscribed and ding that bell so that way you're notified as soon as content drops. So the movie I've got today was recommended to me by nobody, really. I was just interested because it is the highest selling film of all time at the Sundance Film Festival by a mere 69 cents. <laughs> and now having seen it, it is quite the trip, literally and figuratively. Because as of this recording, we're all hungry down and we're trying not to get sick or trying to get others sick. Wear a mask, people, I'm going crazy here. Just kidding, not about the mask part, about the I'm going crazy part, just, just please wear a mask. So right now an escape to a desert oasis just sounds so lovely. And when you combine love and a desert oasis and the future, sort of, you've got yourself the neon and Hulu film and indie darling from 2020, Palm Springs. You can see and hear the full trailer for the film at the link in the description box down below. Of course, if you're looking to avoid even the most minute spoilers, you might want to watch the film before watching this review. So let's put on our shades and bask in the glow of our TV and mobile devices until a vaccine is discovered, and let's jump into the review. Actually, maybe shades aren't best for that. I don't know how Casey Neistat does it. Whatever. Palm Springs stars Andy Samberg and Kristen Milotti, two single people who serendipitously meet at a wedding in, wait for it, not Thousand Oaks. The pair have a mutual attraction to each other with their bleak outlook on life, love, and marriage as they leave the wedding reception and try to make something good out of their misery. AKA, they get it. Ow. But the moment they fall for each other, Niles is struck by a mercenary named Roy and he escapes to a random cave where Sarah unfortunately follows. In a short flash, Sarah wakes up in her bed as if none of the preceding events had ever happened, but she soon realizes that her day has started all over again. Everyone's saying the same things, the wedding is still being prepped and Niles is still poolside. Absolutely confused, Sarah confronts Niles about what is going on and he informs her that she is now stuck with him in a time loop for all eternity. And of course, hilarity ensues. That's about all I'm gonna reveal for this synopsis. Because even though I could technically elaborate further, I think a lot of the fun is just experiencing Sarah and Niles' journey in this madcap premise. See, Palm Springs is essentially the latest vehicle for Andy Samberg and the Lonely Island crew, which is also Akiva Schaefer and Jorma Taccone, whose SNL digital shorts and films such as Hot Rod and Popstar, Never Stop, Never Stopping, are just stupid fun and hilariously smart in equal measure. There's a lot of visual and sound gags, way over the top effects, uh, unexpected deadpan deliveries. They play to the idea in comedy that going beyond the punchline is actually funnier. The Andy Sierra screenplay for Palm Springs is actually quite tender and charming that it wrangles the Lonely Island's tendencies and puts it into a surprisingly layered rom-com. While I can't say the whole time loop concept or the discovery of the concept is a new or novel one, see Groundhog Day, Russian Doll, Edge of Tomorrow, Happy Death Day, Hot Tub Time Machine, Source Code, the list goes on. Sierra at least gives it an admirable spin in relation to what it means to be married and how to keep a relationship stable and fresh. It pits Andy Samberg in a comedic but lovable role akin to something that Adam Sandler would do in his better rom-com days. No, 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 you're not better. Get out of here, get out of here. You come in, you. <sighs> That's better. Ironic that that film also revolves around weddings. Also, Adam Sandler was in 50 First Dates, which is another twist on the time loop concept, sort of, I digress. Anyways, the chemistry between Andy Samberg and Kristen Milioti, who's been giving us some of the most low-key, underrated performances of the past few years, it feels really genuine and it holds us together throughout the film, so I credit the actors for really expressing and enhancing the already good screenplay. They fully embrace the concept by showing us the fun sides and downsides of being stuck together in this warp of time. A lot of other actors pop up here and there, such as Peter Gallagher and J.K. Simmons, that keep the comedy rolling. And while those elements of the film are spot on, Palm Springs as a whole ends up being just mostly amusing. At a brisk 90 minutes, it does exactly what it wants to do and it departs without much hesitation. For me, it leaves me with a sense that it does more to prove that it's a witty and smart rom-com than it does leave me with the feeling that I've invested and earned time and energy in its characters and its situations. That's kind of my takeaway with all of the Lonely Island films and Palm Springs didn't really change my mind. The antics we see are fun, but they do kind of outstay their welcome as I just want to hear more about the musings on relationships from the characters more than I do want to see their 
experience with the time loop again and again. I also felt at times that the editing was a little bit slapdash to where the progression of situations was a little bit too quick or without a beat. Though with that runtime, I do think the film is void of fat. So with that being said, I wanted to fall in love with Palm Springs just as much as Sarah and Niles fall in love and I didn't quite get there. But listen, at the end of the day, even with its slight inconsistencies, Palm Springs has some good chemistry with its leads and it has a fun, if unoriginal concept that can at least make for an entertaining evening with some quirky escapism. And that might be just what the doctor ordered for these times. I mean, really, because there's no vaccine yet. So I give Palm Springs my final rating of three and a half out of five stars. And you can currently stream it on Hulu. If you've seen the film, I would love to hear your thoughts on it, and of course your movie and TV show recommendations that you want me to look at, so be sure to leave those in the comments down below. Thanks so much for checking out this review, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, I would appreciate a huge thumbs up. And if you like this and want to see more of this kind of content, be sure you're subscribed and ding that bell so that way you are notified as soon as content drops. Thanks again, and until next time, I'm David Fish. For Fish to Go.